welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. All right, friends, one more day of reflecting on this glorious truth that we've learned from Romans chapter 10, verses 11 through 14. Let me read the text to you again as we begin today. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him will not be disappointed, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is Lord of all, abounding in riches to, for all who call on him. For whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then will they call on him whom they have not believed? How will they believe in him whom they have not heard? How will they hear without a preacher? How will they preach unless they are sent? Just as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news of good things. As we've mentioned on this past Sunday and all throughout this week in reflecting on this, this passage shows us that the gospel is the glorious hope of missions and the gospel is our motivation for missions, for evangelism, for telling people of every tribe and tongue and nation about this glorious truth of the gospel, that they can be saved, that they can live free of that ultimate disappointment of judgment and live eternally with him. This is the glorious hope of missions that leads us to be motivated to evangelism and missions. So let me encourage you to apply this truth today by praying that the Lord would put somebody on your mind today to share the truth of the gospel with, and then go tell them the truth of the gospel. Also, be praying for upcoming opportunities we'll have as a church to do evangelism, whether that be at the Hog Eye Festival, we're, all, we're thinking of holding an outreach event here at the church for uh, Reformation Sunday, um, supporting missions. We're going to be voting on our budget soon, which includes support for missions and support for missionary opportunities. And ask the Lord to give you a heart for participating in missions. We may not know what that looks like just yet, but we'll see what the Lord puts on the hearts of his people, whether it's local outreach, outreach to prisons, to homeless shelters here in the area, or international outreach. We want to have a heart to take the gospel to those who need it and to take it to the to them without partiality. So pray for that kind of heart in yourself and in our church. And then let us go and be faithful to what the Lord calls us to. I pray this passage has encouraged you and has really served to help us kind of a reset for our church in terms of how we think about and how zealous we are for missions. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Grace Today. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church of Elgin, Texas, and how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.